Yo, what's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. Now, I promised that today's video I would talk about the cards that I personally picked up in regards to the Topps Project 2020. If you missed out on my last two Topps Project videos, they will be linked down below and I'll link the first one right here for you guys to go check out. There's a lot of valuable information in that and me just addressing and explaining what Topps Project 2020 is and what cards to look out for right now since that Ken Griffey Jr. did hit a 99,000 print run, which is, you know, it broke the previous record of that Trout card that hit 30 in k so you know it blew that right out of the water so there is a lot of changes that you should make in your investment strategies which i have talked about in another video um they will both be linked down below so make sure you go check that out after this So again, we are going to talk about the cards that I personally picked up relating to that Topps Project 2020. Now, I picked up three cards off of eBay, and then I picked up a couple of those uh, Ken Griffey Juniors that did have the high print run and some of the Nolan Ryans, which also had a high print run. Um, I'll talk about those first since, you know, uh, the other three are more sort of important since those had the higher print runs. So for the Ken Griffey and Nolan Ryan, I did pick up 10 Ken Griffey Juniors and five Nolan Ryans. Um, I believe all 15 of those cards came out to around $217. Um, I I did do like the 10 bundle for the Ken Griffey and five bundle for the uh, Nolan Ryan. Now what I did, I got a 10% off discount. So it should have been more, but it was my first time buying from tops. And if it's your first time buying from tops, um, there's a newsletter that you can sign up at the bottom. Um, I did it on my phone and right at the bottom, if you like type in your email, um, you can sign up for the newsletter and then you get an email, um, with, a code that you could type in at checkout and it'll give you 10% off since it's your first time purchasing off tops. So make sure you do take advantage of that. It saved me like 20 bucks, which you know, 20 bucks is 20 bucks. I could throw that into another card to invest in. So you, you always want to take advantage of things like that. Now, in my personal opinion, yes, the Ken Griffey Jr. card is, you know, it was a high print run 99K and even the Nolan Ryan, I believe had like 64,000 um, or 46,000. I don't know. I get my numbers mixed up. So yes, they are. They have been the two highest, um, but we are still early in the tops project. Now, more more people find out about it every day and you know maybe two three months from now we'll be at cards that are reaching you know 200,000 per runs you don't know and that 99,000 might be small and then the ones even earlier that I'm going to talk about the ones that I picked up you know the six seven eight thousand print runs are going to be like ancient and just like gold mines and even like the first couple like 2,000 print runs are just going to be insane so you know 99k yeah it seems high right now you know someone in my discord made a good uh comment in you know couple of months to a year 150,000 people might want that Ken Griffey card and there's only 99,000 of them so you know it might be a wait and hold for that card since it was such a high print run but at the same time if you did buy and bundle like me 10 cards even if you bought 10 cards um you get you know a discount it's not $20 per card it's like 17 18 dollars per card so even if the cards go for 25 dollars each you're still making profit if it's like five bucks on each card that's still profit 50 bucks if you bought 10 cards profit is profit so like even with that now the Nolan Ryan obviously is a little bit smaller. We had like a 64k print run. Um, now that one I believe you know could have obviously more profit than the Ken Griffey since it is uh, 35,000 less print runs than that Ken Griffey. Um, but again, it was you know the second highest so far, so it could you know be a wait and a hold kind of like that Ken Griffey, but uh, maybe not as long. So really, we just have to wait and see on those two cards. Now, I want to jump over to the other three cards I picked up. I did pick them all up on eBay. I didn't buy them off Topps website, so I did have to pay a little bit more for them. Um, I picked up two Jeters and one Mariano Rivera. They're all, th all three of them are different cards. The first one I want to jump into is this Derek Jeter by Andrew Thiel. Now, this card, I believe I paid around $50, 55 for it. A couple days ago, they were reaching upwards of $120. Um, they have started you know, dropping a little bit. They're around. You can get one right now for like $70, $80. Bucks. But I'm not too worried because it is Derek Jeter, and I think... You know, when again, more and more cards come out with higher print runs. Um, I believe that one has like 21,000. So it is a little bit one of the higher ones. But when more and more we get later in the year and there's a lot more cards, people are going to want the earlier Jeters. I think it will be a good investment. And especially with that Hall of Fame, which I always talk about in all my videos, um, the other two, the other Jeter I bought and all of his rookie cards, I think are going to just like skyrocket during the Hall of Fame. We have already seen the 1993 tops, um, PSA 9 start going up. Um, I don't have it, but maybe I do have it. Yeah, right here. I have it right here, the 1993. I did buy this about a week and a half to two-ish weeks ago for like 50 bucks. And by the end of that week, it was at around 100. I think you can get one right now for like 
90 to 100 um so you know i think all of his cards are going to start skyrocketing you know weeks months leading up and i think these tops projects since they're going crazy right now i think they're going to go even crazier around that time so sticking on that hall of fame topic the next jeter card i picked up is this card right here by matt taylor now this card again with the hall of fame i think will see a skyrocket in price you know nearing the hall of fame the weeks months leading up to it i did buy this card one night for 99 dollars, and then after shipping tax it probably came to like 107 or something like that that might be the number in my head um but you know the next day was ready up to 150 so just like it wasn't even 24 hours it was like 20 hours or something like that it was already up to 150 um i think i checked like one or two days ago and they were up to like 170 180 maybe some were selling for 200 um i haven't checked in a couple of days on that specific card so they could have dropped a little bit they could have uh risen a little bit i'm not 100 percent sure but this card was one that i bought um it was in hand of the seller it wasn't a pre-sale because it was one of the earlier ones so that one it has shipped already it did ship i think one or two days ago so it should be here uh soon i am gonna hopefully make a mail day regarding all of the tops project cards i got um but it might be a little hard just because some of them are pre-sales and won't get here till like the end of june mid-june so maybe not maybe i'll make a video on that jeter card um alone you know talking about that and then addressing all the cards that i picked up again so if you want to stay tuned for that then make sure you do consider hitting that subscribe button and turning the bell notifications button on so you don't miss that video and you don't miss part two of the mail day that i mentioned in my last video that is scheduled to drop tomorrow and the last card that i picked up aside from those two jeters is this mariano rivera by keith short now i paid 99 dollars for this card and you can get one right now for the prices are bouncing all over the place i've seen some in the last you know day two days sell for 180 160 some sell for like 103 so you can really get this in the 100 to 200 price range obviously trying to aim for those lower um value cards um always try to snipe a bid you know you can get a good deal some of those 103s might have been bid snipe and if you um detail your searches good you know you include the artist you include maybe the print run you might be able to find new searches or more detailed searches that some of the generic searches aren't picking up what people are searching so you want to do your you know do your research and find better deals so you can save money um i believe this card again will increase in these next couple of weeks to months um it is only a ninth 900 or 9545 print run so below 10k which you know comparing to that 99k ken griffey jr seems like a little um so it could be you know a wait and hold for a little bit because it's not as low as maybe those two 3k print runs but again it's lower than 10k so it's you know in the range as one of the lower ones again mariano rivera hall of famer so you know um good profit off of this card and even if you pay you know 103 right now and in a couple weeks it's up to two 300 that's easy profit in your pocket all right guys well that is it for this video again if you want to check out my latest tops project video i did mention some cards that you can still pick up right now for a fairly good price and have profit in these next few weeks to months or even some that you might want to hold and have profit so go check that out i'll link it right here again if you aren't already make sure you do consider hitting that subscribe button and turning the bell notifications button on so you never miss future mail days future pack openings i'm gonna start doing some box breaks on this channel i think i'm super excited for that so make sure you stay tuned for that and with all that being said i hope you all enjoy the rest of your day and peace